Virgin are Jeff Westlake on guitar, Chris Sammons on bass, me, vocals, and uh, whatever drummer we just had to throw in the mix. So. Um, technically January 2004, but it actually started probably September of 2003 with Jeff Boggs. A lot of different influences, uh, listen to a lot of jazz, metal, uh, everything from Victor Wooten to Geddy Lee, Billy Sheehan. Uh, everybody from Johnny Cash to Tony Iommi, Ted Nugent, uh, Ronnie James Dio, nothing modern, sorry, <laughs> nothing I can think of anyways. You know what's really weird is that like everybody has influences, somebody that they grew up listening to and like I really... I don't listen to a lot of music. That's probably really, really weird. Um, I mean, I have people that I like. Um, growing up, I listened to like Martina McBride, Mariah Carey, uh, Faith Hill, Shania Twain. I was country, obviously. Um, didn't listen to any rock. So, I mean, I, there's people that I like, but to really say that those people influenced me to where I am today, I can't really say that. Might be weird, but. I'm a <laughs> 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 it's kind of hectic. Uh, there's, you know, you get up at like five, six o'clock in the morning. You drive all day. You may or may not eat. Uh, go to sound check and, you know, do that sort of thing and then you eat and then you get back to the hotel about one or two o'clock in the morning and do it all again it's it's pretty tough but you know if it's something you love to do and something you're determined and you know it, i mean it's just really uh really satisfying interesting experience uh you know, it's once a lifetime things i've always wanted to do a relief relief because i don't have to worry about anything somebody else does it while we're on the road it's really literally probably the only time of the year where I can relax and just do what I have to do on that given day. Mm, no, never really saw myself in a female front of band before, but I think it's cool. I like it. It's probably not as hard as having a front guy, if that's the way you want to put it. Front man. Um, it just depends on if the singer has lead singer's disease. She's not quite there yet, although she did show signs of it on the last tour. But, you know, it's just another one of those things. It's, it's no, no harder than a guy. I, like I say, it's not any harder than having a root canal or something like that. You know, if you can deal with that, it's not much harder, you know. It's, it's all right. Um, well, it's been different um, this time versus Bombshell. Bombshell was a pressure cooker where... It was done in a real short period of time, um, just because of the time schedule and working with Michael Wagner. Um, and there wasn't a, a whole lot of involvement. I got some involvement from Bogsy um, when he was available, and so he and I did some writing together, but it was mainly Julie and myself. This album, it was um, myself and Chris coming up with a lot of the riffs, and then Dave O plugging in quite a few of the riffs too, and some arrangements and things. Um, and then Julie coming up with the melodies and the lyrics, but for the most part, it was it was a two-part thing. It was basically me and the guys over here, and then Julie got brought in after we were comfortable with the way the music was and how it sounded, and then she did her thing, and then we get back together as a group and finalize the songs out. But it was really good because we started writing the album, 
Actually, we started writing the album February 2007, and we literally didn't finish until January 7th, walking into the studio. Hey, Jeff. What's up, Davo? What are we doing here, man? Where are we at? Uh, we're in Darrington, Washington, which is just outside of Seattle, just a few miles. You can see by the snow-capped mountains back there. No, we're not in France again yet, but we're going back there. But anyways, we're here early in the day, just getting ready to go through sound check and all that good stuff. And uh, right now we're going to go eat some food and spank our monkeys and get ready for showtime. All right, all right. man. <laughs> it's a process for me. Um, I really have to relate to a song. I don't play instrument. I play piano a little bit, but not enough to really write anything. So for me, I can't come up and like write music and stuff. Um, so it's just more I have to wait till the guys have the song ready and then I'll come up with like the melody and then the lyrics but it takes me I mean Jeff can just you know poop out a song in five minutes and be done with it for me it's like days because I've got to find something that's ticked me off or you know something like I don't know I, I can't write like love songs I'm really bad at that it's got to be like something evil or, or hateful or <laughs> something to write about but um, it, it, it is a process. It's fun. It's a, like a good way to like relieve some like build up stress and anger. So, but it's, it's cool. I enjoy it. I think a lot of determination, you know, um, it's a lot of hard work. Everybody that is in the band at this point takes what we do very seriously. Um, if you're not serious about it, it's never going to work. So, I mean, I think we're all just very determined to see this thing succeed. Jeff's worked really hard because, you know, up until here recently signing with Demolition, um, it's pretty much been him and, you know, I've done some stuff to try to help out things, but we've kind of done it on our own. Um, but that has got us to where we are now, so we're kind of ready to let somebody else handle the business aspect of the band and actually like do the music uh, mainly just Jeff working his ass off to promote the band it's that's the main reason I think oh all, all kinds of stuff I mean like I said earlier me and Jeff are grinding on it day in and day out you know we're on the phone we're you know writing songs we're just doing everything we possibly can you know just to uh just to get one more step ahead of the game and you know one more step closer to being what we want to be a lot of work um a lot of people are under the misconception that as a band you get up one morning and you just crap out some song and then you go in the studio and record it in an hour and then you're off and running on the road. I wish that's the way it was. <laughs> but it's it's a lot of work. There's a lot of work that goes into it. Uh, a lot of talking with management, which is Dean Sweat for us from the Paramore Group. Uh, a lot of talking with your label, which is Demolition for us. Uh, your distribution company, promoters, booking agents. Uh, it's a lot of bullshit. But it's got to get done. So it's a never-ending thing. Um, worked in the coal mines to help pay for college.